Well, good morning, family. I still got the red truck. I didn't switch trucks. I couldn't do it. I'm too attached to this truck. Pop actually had a good explanation about it. I got bad damn knees, and using that clutch makes my knee hurt pretty bad, but I want to show you what we went and picked up. This guy's buying this. A two, two people, own, actually three people own this company. But we went and picked these up yesterday. Two of them. We got six all together. So we're going to need drivers for these two fine looking vehicles. That's a 760. It's big bunk. It's just a little bit shorter. See the difference? Which I'm I'm pulled a little I drove this one back. I'll show you the difference in the 760 and the 860 Volvo. There's not much difference. There's a little bit of difference. Where you have to look is back here from here to the tire. See the distance there? And then you go over here and look and see the distance from there to the tire. The 760s, about, about, a, about a foot and a half shorter than the 860. But these are very, very good trucks. Good sound solid trucks. They got the 13 speed automatic in them. With the. Oh man, just woke up. They got the red Cummins motor in them. The anniversary edition, 500 horsepower. Both these do. So he bought six of these. So we're going to need drivers. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't have the keys or I'd get up in it and let you see inside of them. That's where they came from. It's a family owned place. Very nice people. Just They make you feel at home when you go in there. Super nice people. Top notch shop. But if you're wondering where we're out of, I think I've shown you before. Here's the, that's the name of the company. MGRW Oakland, Illinois. We'll be getting a Facebook page before long. You'll be able to see everything on Facebook, how to get a hold of us. But anybody interested? Wants to run good long miles, stay out as long as you want, go home when you want, stay at home as long as you want. You don't have no deadline when you get home. They don't put you on that. And that don't mean you can go home and just camp out for days on end. It ain't like that. But if you got something pressing you need to do and say you need a week off, just call your dispatch and let them know what's going on. You know, you got to tell them a reason. You don't have to tell them exactly down to the point what's going on, but they got to have a pretty good idea that it's a justified reason to say, well, we'll throw a number out there, say seven days. They don't bat an eye. They're like, all right, man, cool. Let us know when you're ready to go back out. Take the truck home, go on, and nobody else drives your truck. Everybody stays out of it. We got three places we can park here in Chicago. We got two different shops we use. These are not bad rides, man. I drove this one here, I drove it back. I'm telling you, that thing's a beast. She's got power out the ass. Good damn truck. 
Wished I could get in. I left my damn headset in that one. It's locked. <laughs> Waiting on V to get here. So I can get in there and get them out. But we got brand new trailers. All of our trailers are 2020 to 2022. We got four more brand new Great Dane trailers we have to go pick up. So, anybody interested, get a hold of me, man. Let me know. If you got a year or more driving experience, I think they said it's just for insurance purposes. Even if you don't. But you got your CDLs and you're interested. Give me a call. Might be able to work something out. Or message me on here or whatever. What a mess. Right. Just want to let y'all know I'll be keeping this one. I just couldn't get out of it, man. I couldn't do it. I'm too attached. I gotta get her cleaned back up. I've been running pretty hard. Haven't washed it in almost a month. I'm gonna have to redo my wheels. They're not shiny no more. I've been running pretty hard, so. Yeah, I did over 4,000 miles last week. So. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know what I'm doing today. I'm at the shop. I'm going to get my windows fixed. My damn window switch quit working on the driver's side, so I can't roll my windows down. Can't move my mirrors, and if I do a blind side back, it makes it pretty tough. You got to go back to old school, man. You got to get a hanger out, a metal one, wrap it around your door latch, hold on to it, and as you're back, you got to push that hanger in and out so you can see and that's that's not too fun that's kind of hard but yeah and all these trucks got the big tanks too you can hold 300 gallons of fuel so these were leased on to uh fedex so they were taken well care of everything on them that was, was amiss has been fixed they got brand new rubber on them ready for the snow so does that one. But yeah, we're gonna need some drivers, man. So we're getting good equipment. Anybody looking to maybe change up? It's kind of like, you feel like you're running for yourself because if they give you a load and you don't like it, say it's going somewhere you're not comfortable with, you just gotta tell them. They'll be like, all right, man, I'll see if I can find you something else. You might still wind up having to take it. Might be the only load available that's worth hauling. I don't mean you can turn every one of them down. I mean, you got to compromise. It is a business. It's here to make money, not not just appease a driver. But anyway, y'all have a good day, man. I'm going to get my switches fixed, go load, and head to Nashville, Tennessee. So just a little short run. Get me down in some better freight, I guess. But work back towards the house, go to Pops for Thanksgiving. So, Y'all truck hard, truck safe, make smart decisions.